Hi, this is George Cow. In today's short video, I want to touch on the topics of the connection between money, freedom, impact, and fulfillment. I know that's a lot, but I'll, let me just share with you um, that there is a belief out there that more money means more freedom, uh, more impact, and more fulfillment, right? And yes, I can see why people believe that. Oh, if I had more money, then I could work less. That means I have more time. Uh, then I can do the things that, that are fulfilling. Okay. Now, interestingly, I haven't found that to be true myself. Um, for the first four years of my business, I was using the leveraged model, one to many. I was selling information products to a lot of people. I was selling group coaching programs that cost $2,000 where uh, my clients didn't have one-to-one -one access to me except in a group Q&A call. Uh, I was selling online courses. And um, honestly, I wasn't, see, I wasn't seeing the kind of impact that I am now. And guess what I'm doing now? I'm doing one-to-one -one coaching, mentoring, and consulting now. One-to-one. -one. So I went from a, I went from a leveraged model, so-called leveraged model, one-to-many, to a one-to-one -one model. And the irony now is I have more time now than I had before. Now, granted, I'm making three times less money now okay, than I was before, but... I am also happier now. I have more free time and I have, I've been creating more content than I ever had before. So in the past year and a half since I, made, I fully made the transition. Oh, and I should, I should say briefly, I make enough money. Uh, even though I'm making three times less money, I'm making enough money to pay all my bills and to save for retirement and to take occasional trips like this. I mean, right now I'm on vacation with family. Uh, we rented out a, a gorgeous little cottage. Um, in the countryside, and this is our backyard. <laughs> um, there's even a little, I don't know if you can see, there's a little hammock there. Um, so I take more vacations now. Uh, most of them are, are, are staycations because I just, there's enough beauty uh, and rest in where I live to, to really nourish me. I don't have to always be traveling, plus traveling is not good for the carbon emissions and, uh, <laughs> and other pollution. So, um, I have more time now, even though I have less money, I have more time now, I have more happiness now, I, have, I see more impact in my clients, and I get to have more time to create content like this, free content that can touch many, many more lives. So in the last year and a half since I made the transition <clears throat> from one to many to one to one, I have been more prolific in, in um, writing, speaking than ever before. Uh, I have, for example, I've made more than a hundred videos in the past year and a half that are all on YouTube. Uh, you can find them at youtube.com slash our highest work and youtube.com slash George Cal. So I put my videos sometimes here, sometimes there. I've, I've started a podcast that now has more than 70 episodes uploaded. I have written more on social media than ever before. And here's the thing. <clears throat> I've gotten more people emailing me uh, that their lives are being deeply changed by, by what I'm creating now. I've, I've gotten more of those types of emails than ever before when I was making three times as much money and had huge numbers, audiences of clients and customers. But there's something that's deep impact that I'm, not, that I'm making now that I wasn't making before. And so impact isn't just about the numbers. Maybe some, some of us may be here in this life to really deeply impact one person or a few people. You know, so... When we think about impact, let's not think just about the number of likes or comments and shares we're getting, but the, but the real quality of impact we're making. So anyway, I hope this is interesting and helpful, and as always, I'm open to your comments and questions. And until the next video, be well.